As you saw, when you click on the share menu, a list of destinations is displayed here. And you can certainly go down and click on add destination to add additional share destinations. And you can do this by going into the Final Cut Pro preferences. We viewed this in a much earlier video, but in preferences, you have your destination preference. And this shows us all those destinations and you can add a destination or remove one. And I strongly recommend that you go in here and customize this menu based on the shares you're actually gonna use. This helps you maximize your interface and then you're not always seeing all these destinations you're not gonna use. So as an example, uh, we'll go through each of these destinations and, and take a quick look at them, but the first one here is DVD. So on my iMac, I don't even have a DVD drive built in. I'm not creating DVDs usually, if ever, using this share de destination. So I'm gonna select it and hit the minus at the bottom to remove that destination. I do use master file almost every single time. So I'm gonna keep that as a destination and listed there. However, with Apple devices, I'm usually selecting to share at 1080p or 4K. I don't use the 720p setting myself, so I'll select that and hit the minus to remove that one. I then see 1080, which looks good. I see the 4K option, which is fine. However, if you remember my other video, I don't like that it goes through here and does the faster encode. Uh, so I'm actually gonna change this to better quality. Also inside of the 4K one, I'm gonna change that to better quality. And by doing it here in preferences, anytime you go and select these share destinations, it'll use the default settings. You can still go and change them on the fly, but if I know every single time I'm going in and changing it to better quality, go ahead and change it in the preferences and you won't have to do it as frequently. Uh, let's say I'm not sharing to Facebook ever. I can hit the minus to remove that one. With YouTube, I remember the compression was faster in code. I'll change that to better quality. I'm also gonna change the resolution up to 4K. That way it'll choose the best resolution available uh, up to 4K. Privacy is set to private. I like that, everything looks good. Uh, if you're not signed in, go ahead and sign in here and it'll be set up in the preferences. Then the next one is Vimeo, which is very similar to sharing to YouTube as far as the settings are concerned. You can sign into that account, change the compression. Uh, however, I know in my case, I'm not using Vimeo, I'm only using YouTube. So I might go and remove that share destination. So now by doing that, let me close preferences. You'll see if I go to share something, I only see those four destinations. So it takes away some of the confusion by having those extra destinations there. However, if you wanna add one, just go down and hit add destination and you'll see a list of the destinations here on the right side. And to add a destination, just click and drag it over to the left side. So let's say something I do like to do frequently is save a still image from one of the frames on my video. So I can actually click and drag save current frame over to the left side. And then I'll look on the right, it's gonna export it as a TIFF file. Maybe I actually want a PNG file. And the settings look good. So I have that save current frame there. However, I do like to sometimes save them as PNG. And sometimes I like to save them as TIFF. So I'm gonna add another destination with save current frame. And this time I, I am gonna keep it as TIFF. Only save current frame and save current frame one are not very helpful names. So I'm gonna say save frame, because I know it's the current frame. And this one I'll type in TIFF. And in this title, I'm gonna double click, type in PNG to name those. Cool, so now I have a couple extra destinations. If I go down to add destination, uh, one other little thing I wanna point out here is you have an option to create a bundle. And a bundle is essentially sharing to multiple destinations at the same time. So if I added a bundle, you'll see it's a little folder here. And then I could actually add in multiple destinations. So if I was using YouTube, Vimeo, and Facebook, I could actually add all three of these into that bundle, I'll hit uh, cancel there. I'm not actually gonna sign into the accounts right now. I'm just gonna add each of those. And now what that does is it allows me to go up to the share menu and click on this bundle. You could name the bundle something that's a little bit more relevant. And what's gonna happen is it's actually gonna share to Vimeo, Facebook, and YouTube. I have these little arrows. I can see all the settings there, all within one share. 
So that can be very helpful to send out. If you have a compressor installed on your Mac, you can add the compressor setting and you can select any of those settings from within inside compressor, which allows you to build these really advanced uh, options and, and has a lot of control with how you're gonna share those files out. So you do have that option. You can add that over onto your, as far as your destinations go, you can add that as one of your destinations and then you're sharing using compressor and you don't even have to go into the compressor app. You're doing it all directly here inside of Final Cut and saving yourself some time.